All right. Happy Friday, Refuge family. Uh, Pastor Chase here. Um, this week, uh, the pastors um, here at Refuge were asked the question of what are things that refresh or what are the things that we do that refresh our faith? So um, I'm going to give you guys just a couple of things that, uh, that I do as well as my bride and, and just in my family. So um, firstly, on the top of the list would definitely be being in God's word. Um, you know, the scripture says in Romans 12 that we're not to be conformed, but transformed by the renewing of our minds. And, you know, I, I think for believers, we constantly need to be people that are in God's word, allowing it to renew us and to transform us, uh, to transform how we see things. Um, but also being in the word is so important, too, because, again, um, it, God's given it to us uh, to be able to point to the person of Jesus. Um, and so it's a, it's a means that he's given us to be able to meet with him, to be able to hear from him, and to be able to uh, really build that relationship uh, with him. As, as scripture tells us again, Jesus mentions this himself, that he says, hey, to the Pharisees, he says, you search the scriptures for in them, you think that they have life, but you miss out that they're pointing to me. So, um, you know, a couple things that I would say that I do personally to be able to um, to spend time in God's word is um, try to daily read God's word. And, um, you know, currently my, my Brad and I are in a two-year Bible plan um, that goes through the Old Testament and the New Testament at the same time. Um, you know, other years we've done the one-year one. Um, other years we've kind of done it just, hey, we're going to go from cover to cover. Um, but it is so important to be in God's word. And um, that is one of the biggest ways that I think God continues to renew and refresh um, my faith for sure. Um, also uh, connected to God's word too is um, I personally like to change, um, you know, uh, to different translations uh, over the years um, just to be able to kind of keep it fresh. Um, I grew up uh, reading the New King James and then, um, you know, uh, started memorizing everything and kind of in New King James. And it was really cool um, just kind of uh, at a different time frame reading through a, a fresh um, I guess, um, translation. So I've gone through like the CSB, the ESB, the NASB, the NLT. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of really great translations out there too. So, um, I would say that, um, other things that connect to God's word and, uh, and refresh my faith in it too is I think taking time to meditate on scripture is really important too. Right. Um, you know, the psalmist says that a lot. Um, that, that he meditates on God's word, right? Or that he delights himself in God's word. Um, but really taking time to think about, okay, how does this, um, you know, apply to me? What was the context? What was the, uh, the things going on? Why did God write that? Why, why is that in scripture? Um, you know, and, and again, God, how do you want to minister to me in this? Um, I think are, are huge uh, questions to ask as we're kind of thinking through the scriptures and as we're meditating on it. Um, other stuff that I would say um, that are really important to approaching God's word and refreshing our faith in it too is um, coming in with hearts of expectation. Um, there's um, a guy named Henry Nguyen um, that said, you know, that if we're not coming to God's word um, with the heart, expecting him to speak to us, um, then we're not not approaching it rightly. And so I, I think there's a lot of just great truth to that because again, God's word, whenever we open it, we should be ready to be able to uh, hear from the Lord because God's given it to us for a reason. Um, other things would be, you know, listening to sermons, um, li reading books on the word in specific areas um, or, or themes. Um, those are encouraging as well. Um, but definitely being in God's word is so, so important to refreshing my faith um the things that we that we practice to or is make, making sure that we spend time in prayer um and so um you know some have said it's really important that we pray throughout the day so you know paul says pray without ceasing so the idea of being uh in con continual communication with the lord is so important and i um definitely uh, I guess, ascribe or subscribe to that. Um, but also, I, I've also found that, you know, it's, I easily get distracted. And, uh, and I think it's also really important for us to have moments where we sit down in undistracted time, where we're able to pray and just be able to spend time um, speaking to the Lord and to being able to thank Him and worship and, 
and to be able to, um, you know, come before him also for others and to be able to lift up the needs and, and, and even just, just asking for, um, again, just his grace throughout the day and for forgiveness. And, and so again, um, yeah, I think, I think it's important that we both have a continual prayer life and also set up times where we're just sitting, um, you know, being there, uh, and just focusing, uh, with our relationship with the Lord and just us and him. Um, you know, I, I think about, <laughs> uh, you know, just even with comparing it to my own relationship with my wife, but you know, there's time frames where we talk, right? Where we're distracted, where we're watching the kids, and then there's time frames where, um, where we also set aside, where we just sit down and we really have um, undistracted time, or we're really intentional to to really hear from one another. And and again, I and so I, I think prayer, likewise, with our relationship with Lord, it's really important to build into that. Um, another thing that we, we started practicing last year, and, and this is one that I'm still growing in, but this is the idea of, of just being still before the Lord and having time frames to, um, yeah, to be still. I mean, scripture tells us to be still and to know that he's God. And so even just in the stillness, again, we, we have very distracted lives, at least, at least I do, um, a lot of times with, you know, the gadgets and gizmos and things going on and, uh, people running around and needs and all of that different stuff. But um, I think it is so good to be able to be still and, and allow uh, just our, our minds and our hearts to be in a spot where we want to receive from the Lord and we want to be still before him. And, and again, that, that is really refreshing. Um, another thing that we've been practicing probably now in close to, you know, three years uh, at some point this year, um, definitely seriously in the last um, two is the uh, practice of, of Sabbathing um, where we unplug for a 24 hour time frame, um, And we, um, and we rest in the fact that God is in control. Um, and so we do stuff that's refreshing for us uh, as a family. Um, so uh, we take naps, we, <laughs> we go to sleep earlier. Uh, you know, we spend some time, um, you know, just thinking about the ways that God's been faithful in the last week. Um, you know, we also will read the scriptures to our kids. We'll, um, you know, go out somewhere in creation because um, that's really refreshing for us. Um, yeah, we'll um, at times listen to studies, and, but we're not rushed and we're not, not trying to get somewhere very fast, but we're, we're just, again, we're, we're present and, and we're open to the Lord just speaking to us and, you know, just again, not coming in with the agendas of tons of things that have to get done, but rather, um, I guess the time frame to rest and the fact of what God's done on our behalf. Um, another thing that I would say refreshes my faith as well is, um, being in fellowship. Um, you know, the Christian life was never meant to be done alone where you come to Christ and then there now, you, now you're doing it by yourself, but, um, you're, you're brought into a family, right, where you now have God as our father, and um, at the same time, we now have brothers and sisters. And so it's really important um, to stir one another up, to encourage one another, to be able to get prayer for things, to be able to talk about, um, you know, things that matter um, in our walk with the Lord. And one of the, the, I would say not one of the biggest area where um, I get the privilege of having fellowship is with my bride, um, being on the same page and being able to talk about just our walk with the Lord or things he's teaching us or things that he might be doing in our life or um, discerning what he's doing or, or praying together. Um, and that's been such a gift from the Lord. And um, I think that's why, uh, I mean, I, I can definitely um, affirm what uh, the proverb says that he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Cause my wife is definitely, um, man, just, uh, a good gift from the Lord. And, and definitely I feel like is there by the grace of God. And so, um, yeah. Uh, lastly, a couple of unorthodox things that maybe <laughs> that you, you wouldn't normally put together with the refreshing of your faith, but, Sleep. Sleep is actually a big one, too, where, um, you know, I notice mentally um, things just seem a lot heavier at time frames when I'm not sleeping very well. 
Um, but man, sleep is a gift from the Lord and it's part of the way that he's made us to function. Sleep also is a time frame where we, you know, get to uh, where we have to cast our cares upon him and recognize, hey, we can't be up all the time, um, but we, we need him. And so, um, so sleep is really huge. Um, working out is actually another area where um, I find some refreshing in too by going running and you know, it's a time to process and a time to be out in creation. And the way that the Lord's made us, our bodies is, uh, you know, we function just really well there. And so mentally, mostly, um, and even just, uh, and I feel encouraged at times just spiritually as I just get a chance to be out in, again, his creation. And as I get a chance to, um, a lot of times use that time for prayer or times for, um, yeah, or just come back and I, I feel a lot more uh, clearer in thought when I do spend time with the Lord um, after that. So I um, hope that helps. Um, I hope that you guys find some encouragement this week and next week as uh, the different staff members will answer this question. Um, but most importantly, we hope that this helps refresh your faith and you'll put these things into practice um, so you might uh, more and more uh, walk in a way that is close to Jesus and is, uh, and is becoming more and more like him. All right, God bless you guys.